No. So no many. Right, so the party is for 250 people. So let's record that first. 250 people. It's not in focus. There we go. 250 people. So first we're going to work out the bread because it says uh, bread costs $2.50 a loaf. The team needs about one loaf for 10 people. So 250 people divided by 10 people per loaf. So we need 25 loaves at $2.50 each. That's 25 times $2.50. That equals $62.50. $0.50. Dollar sign and make a little note that is the cost of bread. Okay. See, I've used a little bit of wording just to identify what I'm doing at each point. So the next bit is sausages. So we've got 40 kgs at a ratio of 3 to 5 that's vegetarian to meat. So to work out the number of vegetarian sausages, we're going to go 40 divided by 8, because it's the total number of shares, times by 3 equals 15 kg of vegetarian sausages. Same thing for meat, it would be 40 divided by 8 times 5 equals 25 kg of meat sausages. So that is 40 kilos a lot. So we need to work out the cost. So 2 kilograms per vegetarian, so that's 15 kilograms times $2 each equals $30 for veg and 50, uh, 25 kilos times $3 per kilogram equals 75 for meat. So that's a total of $105. Now we need to work out the discount. The discount was 10% off. So that's going to be 105 times 10% off as a, dis as a decimal, 0 0.9, that equals 94.5, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 94.5, I should really have my answers out. 94.5 dollars, that there is our cost of sausages after this count. Okay, so next we have to do the sauce. How do you spell sauce? S A U C E or S E? I don't know. C. 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 Okay. What about if it's someone who's informing you about a really cool story? Then it's S O U R S E or C E. C. Okay, so it's always C E. Right, easy. So, 250 people. You can get 15 people per bottle of sauce. That means you need. 16.7 bottles of sauce. So what do you really need? 17 bottles. Okay, so 17 bottles times $2.80 each equals $47.60 for the sauce. Now you can get that for the no GST price. So to add on GST, what do you do? Good, so to remove it, you do, come on, help me out now that you divide, divide by 1.15. So it's good. So 47.60 divided by 1.15 will give you $41.40. 40. That's no GST price. Yeah, it might be because you used 16.7, maybe? No, I did 17 after Okay. All right. Well, anyway, that's the cost of sauce, the cost of sausages, and the cost of bread. Um, no margarine for some reason, but hey. So the total cost is $198.40. You're welcome to challenge any values, because I did them. Not a genius. 40 cents off. 40 cents off? Oh, well. So that's how much it's going to cost. Now we have to look at how much you're going to get discounted. So the question is... The school has offered to pay 14% of the total cost and the parents will pay a fifth. Now that 14% and the fifth are both off the total cost, so you have to work them out separately. So discount is 
$198.40 times 14%, so 0 0.14. That equals $27.78 from the school. Can you guys see this okay out there? I should have actually checked. Yeah. Okay. And the discount from the parents is going to be 198.40 times a fifth, which is equal to $39.68. Okay. And if you take both of those numbers off of the original amount, going to leave you with a total of $130.84 remaining. Okay, so that's how much the sports team have to pay. How many people in the sports team? Who remembers? 90. 90? Yep. So 90 people in the sports team having to pay $130.84. So we divide that by 90. That's going to give us one dollar forty five each okay so just a few words like I said it doesn't need to be a whole sentence just a few words to let me know what you're talking about so that there is how much they have to pay now according to the marking schedule which is here this is what the marking schedule says okay if you can go through this and demonstrate you know how to do three different skills so one is multiplying by a decimal. Can you see this okay? So if you can multiply by a decimal, dollar sign's important. If you can remove GST, do a ratio, find a fraction of an amount, or calculate a percentage of an amount, that's one, two, three, four, five different skills. If you can do three of them correctly, then that's enough when achieved. Okay, so you don't even have to answer the question. So for merit, you have to work out how much it costs per student. Now there's room for small errors in there, but you have to have done the right thing. So for merit, if you can get to this bit here, that is a merit answer already, okay? So excellence is when it comes down to linking it back to the context of what you're talking about. So that opportunity arises with the question that says, Um, this question just here. So the school are not certain if they can pay 14%, but they could pay between 13 and 16. Investigate how this could impact the amount the students have to pay. So that's about how you can interpret a situation and explain what the outcome will be. So that's the excellence part. So if we say they're not sure if they can pay 14, but it might be 13 or 16%, then I want to take my original amount, which was. Hundred and ninety-eight dollars and thirty cents. Multiply it by the smallest amount they could possibly pay. That was thirteen percent. That will be a total of a uh, hundred and twenty-three dollars twenty-one left. When I take that away from the total amount, so that'd be the amount they'd have to pay. And if they do 13%, I'm um, 16%, uh, I'm starting to suspect this is wrong, by the way. One of my numbers is wrong, but anyway. $198.30 times the upper amount will leave 117. No, those numbers aren't right. I'll fix them soon. But the point is, that would leave them needing to pay each $1.41 or up to a dollar forty-eight. Right, that's still not excellent yet. Although you've done all your calculations, all you need to do is make a comment on the outcome. So it says here, investigate how this could impact the amount the students will have to pay. Um, if you look at this note here for marking for excellence, they have to communicate your ideas clearly, show mathematical insight. So this bit here is the word we're looking at, insight, insightful thinking. What's the effect? 
If you had to raise dollar forty one, but someone told you, wait a minute, you have to raise a dollar forty eight. How mad are you going to be at that? Not too mad, right? So really, this difference is not a big deal, all right? That's pretty much enough of a comment. You've mentioned that here's what could possibly happen. Um, if you're budgeting for the week and you don't know if you've got $51 or $51.50 to spend, it's not a big deal, right? So that's the sort of comment you need to make 